You alright everyone, hope you're good. So, I'm really, really chuffed with what we end up building in this video, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, so basically, we're back at Jamaica Plain again. Now, I've always had an idea. Um, so, you, as mentioned before, this is actually my Mercer safe house. Um, so my idea, and as, as I've mentioned as well, that um, I'm always keeping these builds a lot more kind of smaller but detailed, trying to like, make the most of what I'm doing. So my whole idea with this one is, I wanted... The whole settlement is going to be just this building, so it's just going to be this one reinforced building here. Um, no, nothing else, like, there's going to be nothing outside of this building, um, to the point where I'm, I'm probably going to actually have, I'm actually going to have to put some crops somewhere. I haven't done that yet, but that'll be the decoration stage. But, like, in terms of the structure, it's just going to be this one reinforced building, but also aesthetically, my whole idea was I wanted it to look like just a big scrappy windmill tower is poking out of the sky. That That's going to be out of the top that's gonna be basically the set piece and it worked so well this took me about an hour of screwing around um i've actually managed to cut it down to like 15 minutes but um it was quite a lot of um no even more an hour actually because i had to cut so much it was quite a hard headache to kind of get it how i wanted it but i'm really pleased um this will be the last building of jamaica plane video the next one will be the tour um because there's there's only details i really need to add um obviously there will be the tour will be narrated so don't worry you will see me you know and i'll go through the stuff that i haven't shown you um there's also stuff i want to tidy as well because there are a little, couple of messy bits i need to fix um but basically yeah so the whole premise of what I'm doing with the scaffolding bits right now is basically just using them to line up because basically this I wanted the where the windmill is going to be is going to be just more or less centered over that door frame there Well that kind of bespoke door frame that I've added on there um, It's gonna be plopped on the top this involved like so much just taking things off And it's real it looks really scrappy while I'm building it But the whole effect is very cool and I'm looking forward to decorating this area quite a lot one Because obviously it's not very big so it's not gonna take me very long to decorate um, But also too the whole effect is going to be really really cool I'm so pleased. Um, I'm so pleased. I was really chuffed. <laughs> Which is why this video is a little later than normal. Because I was kind of like getting all getting excited. And plus I had to spend ages editing. Cutting down loads of footage. Because uh, naturally while I was doing this video. Every single segment on the fucking commonwealth. Got attacked by everyone. So I had to keep fucking off. Um, which was a bit annoying. But it didn't dissuade me from having a good time. And making this place look cool. Um, so I do have a little bit of a moment with these stairs. Just, 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 just let me, just let me have my thing, yeah. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. He's having a little moment, really, isn't he? Because it wouldn't snap. You have to be on the top to get it to snap for some unholy reason. To that part there, look at it. It's not working. So I have to go to there. Pop up. Could have cut this out. Didn't because ever slightly forgotten. Also because it wasn't really long enough for me to notice but it's fine it's okay so we hop up here go oh look it's all grand now everything's fine and other stairs just snap on perfectly um, also that robot down there the pam 2 she is a beast she is a brutal beast so you know you've got the raiders nearby um the ones in the i can't remember the name of it to be honest, that, that flooded area she got whiff of one of them and just went over there and cut them down I mean, seriously, she just mauled them. So I've opted the thin stairs. I like the thin stairs. Um, it also has the added bonus that it doesn't take up much room because obviously the space is a little limited. And I just think they look quite funky um, and quite just quite cool. So I, it, it's going to be quite messy what I do, but it does work and it does. Acquire. I've also cut out a lot of the tedium as well because there were quite a bit. There's quite a lot of stuff that I had to just keep repeating and doing over and over again. Especially in regards to just kind of... Because obviously this looks very spindly right now. The old effect I use makes it look very, very cool. So this is where it starts here. So I've made um, kind of quite heavy use. Really heavy use, actually. Um, of the warehouse pieces in this. And, and it, the good thing is it kind of suits the aesthetic um, of the rest of this area as well. So it's all grand. So I end up having to... You just see here, those aren't snapping in. So I have to take these off. Which... Me doing that infers how basically how the rest of this build is going to go because I ended up not being able to get them back in. Um, I possibly could have maybe pillar glitched them in, but again, it would have been a bit difficult. Um, and I end up just going, well, fuck it, we're just going to make our own supports. Um, but still keeping the ones at the bottom in, so it's fine. Um, I also forgot to do that side, which is a bit annoying. The the, the thin side, um, and I do have to fix that because end up using the technique you'll see in a second to kind of uh, basically rug glitching them in. 
um, a select all glitching them in. However, um, it, I didn't get it straight. And you see that when you go over the top, I'm like, I'm just going to put a different pillar here for a second. And I'll fix that when I'm doing the decoration. But it's really cool. Like, this whole effect, especially when you see me walking away from it. And actually, we kind of get a whole look of what the settlement looks. Or like, this building looks. It's exactly how I hoped. My whole idea is, you know, when you're... There are very, I think there are a couple of them throughout the Commonwealth on the massive overpass bridges. And those giant windmills that usually have gunners around them. That's kind of what I was going for. Obviously, I can't actually have a giant windmill. As you can see, that doesn't... I was hoping it might snap in. That it doesn't in... That's actually snapping on the side. Um, instantly, I possibly should use that as a staircase. I might actually put those in anyway. Um, anyway. So, basically, I kind of wanted that effect. Um... So back, so I've already added the stuff in. You see the side on the right now. I've actually forgotten to do that, um, and I do do that later on. So um, I had a little experiment. This is like quite further on, so you might see my materials go up and down randomly because basically I had to like scrap loads of stuff and then go and get more steel because I kept running out. So I decided to just basically support the edges here um, with um, the steel beams. That looks pretty cool. I can snap them in like there. It doesn't really matter that they're slightly touching, not touching up because it's very dark there. Um, and now I'm basically the whole, the whole, the whole thing of this is just like this part is just making it look like it's supported but scrappy. Um, and I was kind of umming and ahhing what to do. You can see me just kind of having a think right now and thinking what I end up doing is using those kind of chest high wall pieces, I guess, and actually then glitching some. Uh, piece of wooden railing on the top to make them a little bit small, taller because you can see they don't cover up the gap so well but what I don't do is I don't show you each one I just show you how I did it once and then I just cut to it because it's just it is it was really fucking tedious to do <laughs> um, the good thing is these are really easy to get in uh, because of the fact that the railing underneath um, the scaffolding rather is really thin um, it's very easy for you to use either rug um, or a in my case an ashtray quite often is what I use um, to get them in. Quick note, these specific railings, these ones here, the one on the right, right? Yeah, it doesn't actually, if you want them flat against the top of that, you don't want to use that one there because you can see slightly, I do end up taking it off, do I show you this one? Yeah, you can see it's not, it sinks into the wall bit a little bit. Do I, do I actually show you me fixing it in this? No, I don't think I do. But it still looks good. I have nothing to go back and fix that part. But just be warned that it is a bit of a pain in the ass. So you can see here is me. Now I've already done it. You will in the tour. I will show you what I've done. Um, but basically this is me just kind of covering up a few of the gaps. I've just tried to make it look as scrappy and as weird as possible. But it works so well, um, especially when you look at it from a distance and actually take the entire structure in because it just looks so organic. So you see basically what I've done is you see all those little bottom areas there. I've actually just plopped these in um, and now just a couple of the gaps near the wall there. I'm going to put a junk fence just to kind of mix up the textures a little bit. I do have a little bit of a, a crafty moment, shall we say, with this one. And the fact is it doesn't want to fucking get in because it's a prick. I hate its face. That's all good. Yay! Rugs. We love these rugs. The rugs are life. You can see it's starting to look really cool. Now, once I add the windmill on, that's when it starts to look pretty grand. I'm quite pleased. I'm really shocked. I'm trying to... I was, I was worried this was going to look shit. Um... Because the thing is, is as I said, this, this is literally just going to be a safe house um, for my... For my railroad people. So I wanted it to look quite fortressy. But also, I'm not making it look like a traditional settlement, so there'll be no walls, anything like that. There's going to be no gatehouse. It's literally just going to be a reinforced building that could be, you know, could belong to raiders, for example, for all, you know, someone just looking at it knows. This is me, because I've got the other hole on the side, and the junk fence, basically, is a little bit too wide. So I just kind of make this, like, little wee wall thing. And also, I use the ashtray, because it's really easy to glitch things in. So, ba 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 Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, there is that gap actually between there and the pillar, which I think I might need to pop something and I don't. As you can see, it's looking pretty cool right now. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. Um, the part I'm standing on right now, I don't actually do anything on in this video. That's going to be the decoration because like this part here, I might just put like a wee little guardhouse. But I would, this was just specifically focusing on the windmill. 
Um, also, uh, for those people who are going to say, oh, but where the wind's coming from, yeah, possibly because it's coming from the sea and the sea's facing the other direction. Don't care. Artistic license. It looks better this way. Shut up. Uh, science and and sorcery and whatevs. Yeah. Basically, it looks cooler like this. So I've opted to do it like this. It's fine. So this part's pretty straightforward. You can see there's a giant gap. Don't worry about that. We rug glitch a very, very thick ooh, ooh, um, junk fence in there. The one with the tires. Also, I have absolutely no idea why that one one, uh, that one one, that one railing is snapping in there, and why the other one doesn't snap in. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even remotely understand. It's fine. I end up just placing them on, and having to kind of just select all glitch so the one doesn't be a prick. Ooh. It's a problem. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. I don't know why it's doing that. Why are you doing that? Why are you going to be that guy? They wouldn't let me put another one on the front. It's a dick. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll put that there. Get a rug. Did we get a rug? We did get a rug. Yeah. I'm so pleased with the settlement. I'm just... Oh, it's going to look so good. And it's cool because... I, oh, yeah. I never get that rug back, by the way. <laughs> it's gone. It's stuck. Just, just, just accept it, man. Accept it. It's gone forever. Um, so basically it just literally just kind of, I don't even bother like glitching these in so much. I just kind of, oh yeah, I do fall down properly. Um, also I'm still wearing McCree's Davies coat because, his duster, because I stole it from him and fuck off McCree, it's mine. McCready, not McCree, just playing Overwatch all day, <laughs> you can tell. McCready's coat. <laughs> um, I think McCree would actually shoot me in the head if I stole his Poncho? He wears a poncho. I don't know. Depends what skin you have. So I'm just kind of popping these in that there. God, I've been playing Overwatch all day though. I'm give. I'm. I'm training. I haven't started my um placement matches yet. For those of you want to know, what I am going to do. I'm uh, working on Overwatch content as we speak, but I'm basically putting about six videos together first. By the way, before I then release them, because I want to have. Because I know I'm going to be disheartened when my first Overwatch video comes out. Because I know not as many people watch it as the Fallout videos. But it's okay. So I'm pre-making about six of them. And then spreading them out over about two or three weeks. So that way I've got them all ready. And I, the views will go up. Because it will attract people a bit more interested. Anyway. Um, tangent there. So that will be starting next week. But there we go. That's it. You'll see it from the outside in a sec. You're going to really, really, really like this. Um, so basically just add a little bit of detail here. Um, oh yeah, I've got to do the thingy. So to block that hole up, I just thought the easiest way to do it is just to kind of rug glitch in here. And it just kind of adds a little bit more detail to the back. Um, I do have a little bit of a nightmare getting this to attach the rug because of the shape of this roof. And also just, it's really hard to get these fuckers from the back. Um, my advice with those junk fences, just use the big rug. If you're doing it from the back, from the front, it's a piece of piss. But from the back, as you can see. Like, front, it's all grand, yes. So it's fine. Stupid bloody back. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, also, on because on the content, for those of you who watched this far into the video, um, I'm going to be doing, as I said, Overwatch content. I'm, I'm basically just pre making all the videos um, in advance so that way I can, you know, can just kind of have them out and done. Um, I'm going to hopefully have them all finished by the weekend. Um, the more discursive videos, by the way, I'm, I'm okay bordering on good at the game, um, but I'm not good enough, I think, to do guides just yet. But I've been practicing a lot to kind of get my get back up to speed um but i'm also i'm going to start once i've started doing that i'm going to start doing maybe a weekly just casual let's play on um, on a couple of indie games not nothing it'll have to be new indie games cause i get so many keys offered for offered to me um but that will start in a couple of weeks this is where i fuck up you see this see this here i, I literally glitched that in but it's at such a stupid angle because i couldn't see properly so um i, I just kind of think what do i do here <laughs> um i end up just taking off and putting a Watch this. This is this is this is the way how we fix. That off. Have a think. Have a ponder. I already know what I'm gonna do. Basically, we use the big steel pillars. These pillars are really useful. The little ones are work. Use the big one there. Boom. All good. There we go. It looks realistic. Though I will actually glitch that thing back in again when I'm decorating. Um, I just didn't want to. Unless you wanted the video up really late for literally something as trivial <laughs> as me fixing a wall. Um, and here what I'm doing now is I'm, I might actually add a bit more detail to these parts later on. But for now, we're just keeping those how they are. So we're just going to pop these on there. La 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 la. This is just kind of a almost slight filler, I guess. 
because I'm still not sure how I'm going to use this upper area. But the, again, it's going to be so, it's not really a build, it'll just be decoration. But when I do the decorate tour probably this weekend, um, you will see and it will look cool and you'll love it. So here is the tour. Look at it. Look, look just the effect of that. This whole scrappy, wonderful structure, it looks absolutely grand and I'm really pleased with the outcome. Now imagine that lit up, there'll be turrets. Um, I'm going to fix my guard post because I don't like the way I put that wire fencing on the front, but it looks alright. Um, anyway, hope you guys like that. Um, I'll have another video soon. This one again, I'm alternating between this and Red Rocket, so it'll be a Red Rocket video. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. If you want to have a chat, send me pictures, or just hear me whine about my day and post pictures of my food, because that's what I do, and, 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 and memes. I post a lot of memes, and incredibly on-point GIF usage. Alright, anyway, you enjoy the rest of your week, and I love you all. Take care.